In this video, we'll be performing a calculation for a weak base. What is the pH of a 0 0.0500 molar solution of ammonia? Now ammonia, that's one of our weak bases. You also know that because they give you a Kb value. Anytime you have a Ka or a Kb value, it means you're dealing with a weak acid or base. So let's write the reaction. So here's what we have. Ammonia is a base. It accepts a proton. If it accepts a proton, it turns into NH4+. And it accepted a proton from water. So water was acting as an acid. It gave up a proton, so that turns into OH-. So let's set up a nice table for this. Initial concentration of ammonia is just what they give us, 0.05. And we don't have any initial concentration for the products. That means we would expect the concentration of these products to increase. We would expect the concentration of this reactant to decrease. How much will it increase or decrease by? We don't know, so we'll just call it x. And because the coefficients are 1 to 1 to 1, it's simply just x, x, and x. So at equilibrium, we have what we started with minus how much it changed by. And of course, we have x and x. So let's look um, once again. What, what does this x mean? Well, it's the equilibrium concentration of hydroxide ion. And we want to know the pH. Remember, the pH is a measure of hydrogen ion, not hydroxide ion. So this will be similar to the previous calculation we did for weak acid, except there'll be one more step. All right, let's set up the equilibrium expression, the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactant. And then let's plug in what we know. They give us the Kb value. And for the, re for the products, we have x and x. And the reactant, the equilibrium concentration is here. Now, just like before, let's neglect x in the denominator. And once again, we're able to do that if when we solve for x, this x turns out to be less than 5% of the initial concentration of the reactants. Here's the initial concentration of the reactants. So let's hope when we solve for x, it's less than 5% of this. If it is, that means we don't have to use a quadratic formula. OK, when we solve for x, x comes out to be 9.49 times 10 to the minus fourth. So at equilibrium, remember, it's hydroxide ion concentration that we are finding it will be this much. So at equilibrium, this is how much hydroxide we'll have. Was it OK to neglect x? Well, let's see. This was our initial concentration, remember. And is our x value less than 5% of this initial concentration? Yes, it turns out it is. It's 1.9. So it was OK to neglect x. All right, remember, we want to know the pH. And the pH is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration, not hydroxide ion concentration. But our x value told us the equilibrium concentration of hydroxide. So if we know the equilibrium concentration of hydroxide, we can solve for the equilibrium concentration of hydrogen ion. Turns out it was this. So let's take the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And we get a final answer of 10.979. So remember, for all of the weak acid and base calculations, it's necessary to set up an ice table and then neglect ice, sorry, neglect x in the denominator and then solve for x. And the x will either be your concentration of hydrogen ion or your concentration of hydroxide ion.